Hey guys, so it's the 31st of May in 2023 and I'm here in sunny beach in Bulgaria and I'm going to do you a guided tour today and show you what it's like on the beach, show you all the beach clubs and the beach life and what to do here in the daytime. So I'm starting this tour at the Mexo Beach, which is a Mexican style beach bar with a really cool colored seats and deck chairs. It's a nice place for a sunny day. But this Mexo Beach is more chilled out. It's not really the party crowd down here. This is a place to chill out, have a coffee, have a cocktail in the afternoon. Apparently they have a fire show here tonight and they have some entertainment in the evenings. And they do cocktails here for 14 lev, which is about seven pounds. And you can get two for one on your cocktails. And they do a pint of beer for about five lev, which is about two pound 40. So the prices are not too bad here in Bulgaria. It's quite reasonable. So let's head onto the beach and show you the quality of the sand. Let's have a look. So Sunny Beach was the first beach resort in Bulgaria to get awarded the blue flag for beaches. So the beaches here are blue flag and that means the beaches are safe for families. You can go in the water, it's totally safe down here. Sunny Beach was founded in 1959 and developed as a resort for Bulgarian tourists, like for weekend breaks and short breaks and that type of thing. And they developed it and they build up, built it up, uh, built all the hotels then and it just got bigger and bigger and bigger and now it's the biggest tourist resort a seaside tourist resort in Bulgaria and it's the biggest resort on the Black Sea coast and it's one of the biggest tourist resorts in Europe now as well so it's very popular here now with families and young party people as well because they call it the Ibiza of the Black Sea and the sand is yellow and sandy so it's perfect for a day on the beach here. There's lots of sunbeds lining the beach up and down and on the right side you can see the white sign and it says 10 lev for one of those sunbeds so it's uh, just less than five pounds it's about six euros and you can get yourself a sunbed here by the sea. Over there straight ahead they've got the jet skis parked that's where you can get a jet ski just where you see the, the lady there in the yellow top. They've got pedalos there, they've got, um, they've got blow up banana boats as well, so you can go out on them into the sea. And I've seen people out paragliding today. There's all kinds of different water sports going on here in Sunny Beach. Up and down the front, there's kiosks here where you can buy things. You can buy snacks and French fries. You can buy burgers and food and that type of thing. Um, now today it's the 31st of May, so it's like the start of the season here really. Uh, the season started here about a week or two ago and the majority of places are open now. Um, the front here is all lined with all different uh, beach bars and on the left side we have a place called Palm Beach which has a DJ on every day and that's really really popular. That's a really nice place to have a cocktail. And if you enjoy kind of, you know, modern music and the latest music when you sit on a beanbag and take the sun, it's like an atmosphere where you're kind of in a beach bar, you'll enjoy that. And this is the city centre of Sunny Beach. So just behind here you have the main bar street where it all goes on. So you can see all palm trees up and down here along the front and all the beach clubs online in the front here. I do love sitting on these bean bags here. So I went in for a coffee the other day, it was five lead, so that's about £2.50 for a coffee. So it's uh, kind of similar price to England really. Uh, you can get a beer in there, uh, like a local tap beer for about six lead, which is about just less than three pounds. Um, you can get bottles of import beer for about nine lev, which is about £4.20. So just to give you an idea of the prices here as well. And 
And like they say, they call this the Ibiza of the Black Sea. There's lots of parties here, lots of nightclubs. And most of the places here have DJs on and live music on as well through the season. But the season here is very short. The season finishes on the 1st of October. Now to the right side, we have the pier that goes out into the sea. And you walk to the end of this pier and you can get a boat trip down to Nesebar. Nesebar is a very, very beautiful historic town. And it's like a jetty out into the sea. And I do recommend you a day trip down to Nesebar, guys. So if you want to go to Nesebar, maybe try the boat trip at the end of there. I think it costs about 15 lev, which is about seven pounds. And they'll take you down to Nesebar and you get views of the whole coast along the way too. The uh, tourists come here from all over the world, guys. Previously, it was um, like a, a, one of the biggest communist resorts, so a lot of tourists came here from Russia and the Ukraine. But recently, tourists are coming here from everywhere. Now, tourists come here from Britain and Germany. A lot of tourists come here from Poland. I hear a lot of people speaking Polish when I walk around here because I live in Poland, so I know. And here's the boat coming in, the boat that takes you down to Nesebar. So let's get a view of the coast here. So straight ahead in the distance, you can see Sveti Vlas, which is the next resort. It's about 6.2 kilometers from here, and it will take you about 12 minutes to drive down to Sveti Vlas. The population here in Sunny Beach is about 25,000 25, people, but in the summertime, it goes up to about 60,000 people. Lots of people have summer homes here, holiday homes here, and they come out and they just spend the whole summer here in Sunny Beach or they come out regularly for holidays. You see the same faces here all the time. If we zoom in a little bit over there, you can see the jet skis all parked there. And right ahead in the distance, you have Nesabar, which is about 15 minutes drive away from here. And you can get the bus through to Nesabar for only two lev, which is one pound. Today, it's really hot and sunny. It's about 25 degrees today. Yesterday, it was all raining. It was raining all day, to be honest with you. So I was a bit unlucky with the weather yesterday. Everybody was making a joke, saying maybe it should be called rainy beach, not sunny beach. But today, it's back, the sun's back, and it's lovely. And you can see all the hotels lining the seafront. You've got the Neptune Hotel to the right side. That's a really nice four-star hotel. Lots of families stay there as well with a nice pool directly on the seafront. And that's the Bulgarian flag there. You can see to the right side. And the Bulgarian flag is very similar to the Hungarian flag, but don't mix it up because the Bulgarian flag has white on the top. So that's how you can tell the difference. Now to the right side, we have a really, really popular bar and nightclub, another chill out bar, and it's called the Viking Bar. It's super popular here. It's really, really busy every night, guys. They've got DJs on, they've got live music on. I was there a few days ago. It was really, really busy down there in the Viking Bar. So you can check that out, guys, if you want. And you can get a pint of beer there for about five lev, which is about two pound forty, so it's quite reasonable. And you find that Bul here in Bulgaria, the prices are more reasonable than other European resorts. If you go to Ibiza, you might pay double that price. You might pay five, six euros for a pint of beer. And the difference here is, uh, here in Sunny Beach, you've got five kilometers of yellow sandy beaches going right down the coast. It just goes on and on and on. And the beaches are 100 meters wide, which makes it quite unique really, because for example, I was in Malta in the winter time. The beaches are very narrow in Malta. I was in Cyprus in the winter, the beaches are also narrow, but here the beaches are very, very wide and they're sandy and soft. And it's just lovely to go to the beach here. 
So you can get a massage. Um, if you're into massage, you can get massage there. 60 minutes massage for 60 lev, which is 30 pounds. Get full body massage or you can get the back and the legs. I've seen lots and lots of places here where you can get a massage. It must be very popular here in, in Bulgaria to get a massage and they have all these spas and these wellness centers around as well. And you've got an upstairs section of the beach club as well where you can get a really nice sea view. So let's get you into the town center now. Um, in the center of the camera, where we're going right now, this is a street called Flower Street. Flower Street is the main bar street and the main party street in Sunny Beach. And that's where it all goes on at night time. There's all these terraces here and they'll be busy. In a few days from now, this resort will get really, really busy. From the start of June, all the tourists come and it gets packed. And you've got all your fast food places like the one on the right side where you can buy hot dogs and potatoes and burgers and everything. Plenty of places here where you can get fast food anyway, guys. So straight ahead, uh, there's all the shops going, going right down the prom. Um, that's in the direction of the south side of Sunny Beach. So that's the original side of Sunny Beach when it was first built, the old side. It all started over there on the south side. So I do recommend you have a look. And the prices tend to be a bit cheaper on the south side of Sunny Beach than on the north side. Straight ahead down this way goes up to the north side of Sunny Beach in the direction of Sveti Vlas. And that's where most of the British tourists stay and the best hotels are just straight ahead down that way. In the north side of Sunny Beach, you get all the five-star hotels and the four-star hotels. I'd say the best places to stay are down there. The left side, they're doing all fast food, potatoes. You can get a pizza slice for four lev, which is about two pounds. Cheers. <laughs> and that's really good for when you're walking back from the bars and the clubs at night time. I've had a lot of those pizza slices this holiday, I tell you. And on the left side, we have all the clothes shops here. Sunny Beach is really famous for having some of the best shops in Europe. There's just shops selling everything here. The best shop in Sunny Beach is here, brother. He, he, he says it's the best shop in Sunny Beach. Yes, brother. I have to have a look later on. Cheers, man. <laughs> on the left side, you've got the Funny Pub, which is a really good pub. I do go there sometimes. It's um, six left for a pint of beer, but it's, it's a little bit more than the other pubs, but still it's a good pub and I do go there sometimes. It's about, so that's about three pounds for a pint of beer in there. Um, it's got all the live music on and it's got a lovely terrace outside where you can just sit and watch the people go by. And this tour's taken about four o'clock in the afternoon. So that's why it's not that busy right now. And they're showing the football Sevilla against Roma tonight. They've got all the football games on here at all the pubs. So don't worry, you can watch Premier League, you can watch Premier Liga, you can watch the Scottish games as well. And you can watch the, um, the Irish sports here, GAA as well here. So um, let's move down the strip. So you see a lot of expats here from Britain and Ireland and uh, all different countries because they have holiday homes here. So um, it's very affordable to buy um, a holiday home here in Sunny Beach. You can buy a holiday apartment for about 30 or 40,000 euros. Um, so people buy it and they just come all the time here in the summer months. And a lot of groups like uh, lads and girls come here on holiday for hen parties and stag parties as well. It's popular with all the party tourists as well. And um, tonight, what do we have tonight? We have Mr. Vagabond tonight at the Funny Pub. So I might pop in. Thank you, boss. See you later. So this is the main street where um, all the parties are. This is where all the bars are and the clubs. Everything's open now on the 31st of May. Hey, man. All the tourists are arriving. I've been in mate, cheers. I'll be in later on. I'll be in tonight mate, cheers. Cheers bud. So 
So we've got plenty of places here for ice cream on the left here and pizza and stuff. I do go there for a piece of pizza sometimes. It's four left for a piece of pizza in that one as well, which is two pounds. Um, ice cream you pay by the scoop here. Ice cream is much more expensive here than in Poland where I live. Um, Poland is much cheaper. Here you pay by the scoop. So if you've got three scoops, it can, it can get kind of expensive um, for ice cream and that. But um, we've got another bar to the left side here called Arena Bar. And it's also a steakhouse. Let's have a look here. And this gets very, very popular too. And they have an, a happy hour today with two for one on cocktails. I think a cocktail is about 14 or 15 lev, which is about seven pounds 50 in most of these bars. And they have all the live bands on in the distance there, you can see. Um, and they have karaoke on in the arena bar as well. You can sit at the bar on those high stools you see there in the middle. Now, if you're coming here and you've got um, mobility problems, then you can, um, you can rent one of these mobility scooters here on the right side. Um, they're doing 15 minutes for 15 lev, which is seven pounds, or you can get one hour for 30 lev, which is 15 pounds. Uh, just off the strip, you've got um, a barber shop there on the right side and a tattoo place there as well. I see lots and lots of tattoo places here. So if you're gonna get your tattoo done, maybe get it done in Bulgaria and it might be cheaper than England. And off here, if you go straight ahead down this street, you've got all market stalls where you can buy all the clothes, all the copies and everything there. Um, there's lots of different market stores, but the ones straight ahead off this street tend to be a bit more expensive than the ones that are on the promenade, to be honest with you. I noticed their prices were a little bit higher. Now this pub to the right side is called the Central Bar. Last year it was called the Brexit and it's changed the name, so I don't know why, because it's always quite busy. And now it's called the Central Bar. And I had some pasta, a rabiata, a rabiata pasta there the other day. It was 14 lev, which is about seven pounds. And I had a Bex beer in a bottle, a small Bex beer, and it was about five lev, which is about two pound 50. Uh, a pint of local beer is five lev, which is, yeah, about two pound 40, two pound 50. And you can sit there on the high stools and watch the people go by. Um, they have all the live music shows on here at Central as well. They have a Queen tribute night tonight. Uh, they have all the cover bands on. Because it's the daytime, it's a bit quiet. But let's have a look at the menu, guys, anyway. So they've got a beef burger there for 21 lev 90. So that's 11 pounds for a beef burger. You can get a quesadilla with red beans for 17 lev. So that's about eight pounds. And you can get an uh, you can get the English breakfast there for 16 lev. Um, that's about eight pounds. Uh, see the other dishes here on the menu as well. Um, you can get Asian style beef here. That looks very nice. That's 22 lev. So that's about 11 pounds. And what else can we get here? You could get something like basic dishes like chicken and chips for 22 lev for about 11 pounds. Just so you know what you're gonna spend when you're here and what the prices are like here in the resort as well. And they have all these boxing machines like you see straight ahead everywhere. There's lots of these boxing machines, lots of entertainments for uh, groups of lads that come over on holiday. And um, all the hen parties come out here as well and all the party people too. So when you're on this street, up above the bars here that we're walking past now, you have the nightclubs. They're located up above and down below. For example, just here on the right side, um, where the girls are standing here on the right side, you have a tattoo shop here and you have the uh, underground nightclub with the sign, just like London Underground, it's got the sign there. And above, you've got the Gabbana nightclub as well. Now, Gabbana nightclub is advertised all over Bulgaria. It's very famous here. Everyone knows the, the Gabbana nightclub here. And um, that's a club where it's like a really trendy nightclub. So if you go there, you might have a good night, but you do spend a lot more money in those nightclubs. It's double the price for your beer and your spirits than it is in a normal bar here.
Currency exchange, you have the crown exchange there. They're everywhere in town. Um, they tend to give you a lower rate than the bank. So if you want to change your money, maybe check the rate at the bank because it's a much better rate than that one there. Uh, you have to check and um, there's a different rate at every different currency shop. Every different currency shop has a different rate and you must check four or five shops before you change your money. Um, sun cream here, as you see straight ahead, sun cream is very expensive in Bulgaria. Um, much, much more than what you pay in England. Uh, on the right side here, uh, you've got the pizza slices again for about two pounds. That's open 24 hours, that pizza place there, so you can get late food there. I've been there a number of times for some late pizza as well. And up above you have another nightclub up above. It's free entry into the nightclubs here as well, guys. And you have plenty of things for the children. You've got the Dodgems opposite, so the children would like that. And you can buy donuts outside and that type of thing. You've got the Hotel, hotel Alba, which is located right here on the strip. So that has the best location. On the left side, you've got McDonald's. I'll just let you have a look at the street now and all the people going by. So this is the main street where it all goes on. On the right side, you have the corner bar. And the corner bar is really busy every day. It's very popular. Here they have uh, the salmon steak with spinach. Um, it's famous for having the best pizzas in Sunny Beach. I really, really like the pizzas here at the corner bar. You can get things like fish and chips on the menu as well for about 11 pounds or something like that. It's a lovely place just to watch the people go by on the terrace. I do go there often. Because it's the afternoon, it's not as busy as usual. And they do a local beer, a pint of local beer for three lev, which is about one pound 50 if you ask for the local beer. But if you ask for other beers, the prices are different, obviously. You can pay double that price for another type of beer, for example. Um, so just be careful what you order, really, guys. It's a lovely place to sit and to people watch. And you have the corner nightclub up above on the left side where you have all the live music and some of the famous bands from Bulgaria play there. It gets really, really busy. You do pay an entry fee of 10 lev, which is five pounds to enter that nightclub. And they have boards outside displaying pictures of the food, which is always nice as well. You've got another currency exchange here on the right side. Um, you've got your shop there where you buy your tobacco and your sleeves of cigarettes to take back home. Cigarettes are very, very cheap here. They're 25 euros for a 200 pack of cigarettes here in Bulgaria. It's one of the cheapest places in Europe to buy cigarettes. You've got your mobility scooters there straight ahead. And there you have the corner club live club there in front of you with the casino and gaming hall below it there are casinos absolutely everywhere here maybe bulgarian people like gambling and i and, and imagine the the casinos are very good quality here that's what i've been told there's many many casinos here like the europa casino as well uh, great place to stay here on the right side is the kuban resort that has the best location out of any hotel here in sunny beach it's a big, high, communist-style block, but it's got a brilliant location and a massive pool there as well, and you're right on the bar street. And there you have Jack's. Like everywhere, you have a Jack's straight ahead with a terrace and live music. It's about six lev, which is uh, just less than three pounds for a pint of beer in Jack's bar. And the guy there, he'll invite you in and do you some promotions when you go to Jack's. Cheers, man. Bye. <laughs> And it is a nice bar. I like to do a pub crawl, have a beer in each bar, check them all out. And I especially like the shopping here as well. They have uh, very good leather items. Um, they have good sunglasses and they have all the copies. You can get your Apple phone covers here as well in the phone shop straight ahead. He does um, all, the, all, the, all the phone covers. They're not the originals, but they look the same for Apple and Samsung. 
and you have all the shops here sending selling designer boxer shorts um, you can get the designer sh the socks here as well they're doing um, 10 pairs for 18 leather so that's nine pounds for 10 pairs of, of designer socks and you can get three pairs of boxer shorts for 25 leather so that's about £12.50 for the three pairs. So I'm just showing you all the makes that they offer Hello. and what they offer. Hello, mate. And it's very hot and sunny today. So after this, I think I'll go for a cold beer. So we're coming to the far end of Flower Street now. And straight ahead here on the left side, you get to a supermarket called Janet Supermarket. That's the cheapest supermarket in town where you get a water, a big bottle of water for 25 pence. And all the items are better value in Janet than the other supermarkets here. Now, where you see jackpots and slots, the uh, gambling place on the right side, just go a bit further on and you'll get to the cooperative bank where you can change your money there very cheaply. Um, they'll give you a much better rate than in the uh, currency shops if you go to the bank. Uh, to the left side, there's another gambling hall there. So guys, uh, thank you very much for watching my guided tour today. And um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel at Travel with Cole. And that's Cole with a C-O-L. Cheers, guys. Good night. Bye-bye.